you talk about anti-science. I, I wouldn't call anti-science a movement in this country, or, but I think uh, ignorance of science and a, um, an unwillingness to recognize certain scientific facts as facts, uh, I think that's, that's very strong. And you, we, we have seen that in a number of instances, not so much in the presidential campaign, but in uh, some congressional races where there have been totally absurd statements made by some candidates with a, uh, I won't name the party, but it begins with R. Um, <laughs> In, uh, in certain races where they have simply overlooked, not, not overlooked, but just made statements that are completely contrary to basic scientific um, facts on, um, uh, well, ev evolution. It's not an issue that, we're, that, that uh, uh, has any uh, national resonance this year, but things of, uh, of that nature uh, that, um, uh, are being um, thrown out there, and um, I, I find that, that kind of depressing, I, frankly. I, I, when you have still talking about not these things. Not to mention things. conception. Yeah. I mean, oh, well, well, how, I, it, how I, it occurs, I, uh, whether voluntary rape or involuntary rape. Oh, uh, and rape, and uh, you know. Uh, when you have a third or a half of the population that yeah. doesn't believe basic tenet of biology, uh, which is evolution, then how are you going to have an, a, a, a national debate at the level of presidential candidates about science? I mean, it's just, I don't see it.